Right, so a little birdie tells me that there is tons and tons of Pokemon stock dropping today at B&M. So I'm going to go check it out, see what they got, and cop as much as I possibly can. Let's see what happens, eh? Right, so what did I pick up? Let's start with this. It is the Pikachu V Collection Box from the brand new Shining Fates set. I'm very excited to open this because I've only opened one Shining Fates thing so far and I thought it was a little overrated, but people said, hey, stick with it, see what you can get, and guess what? There are two of them. So I'll open the first one, see how it goes. Might get a bit giddy and open them both, but yeah, look here, we got two. I also managed to get these, the Shining Fates V tins full set. Now if we just dive in a little bit closer, obviously we've got the Celebi and the Waylord here. Look at that, the full set of five. And then there was this set of four Pokeballs. So I thought I'd pick these up. I won't open these today. I'll save them for another video. Right then, so let's start off by opening this thing, the Pikachu V box. So inside we have this. We have the standard plastic, plastic, plastic. Your two big cards and your four packs. First off, I want to go over the big jumbo Pikachu card that comes in this. I always say it, but come on, we don't need these jumbo cards. Seriously, who wants them? Right, so let's open these tins now too. Right, so now we've got the five tins open. We've got the V-Box open. Let's open up the packs and see what's inside. Right, so let's kick it straight off with the Pikachu V card. Let's have a look at it right there. It's looking so shiny and nice. Obviously the value of this one won't be too high because everyone is going to be opening this. Everyone is going to be grabbing this. Maybe in the future it'll be worth more because it's a holiday set, but uh, who knows. Right now the value of it, not too high. But look at it, it's a good looking Pikachu, isn't it? Obviously you also get the code card in there. And then this is what we want to see. We want to see what's in these four packs. So let's kick it off with this one right here. Is that a Toxtricity on the front? I'm not too sure. Let's rip it open. Now, obviously, all the code cards in this are white. So, that doesn't guarantee you a pull in this one. That is just the standard of the cards. One, two, three, four. Here we go. Our first pack from the V box. We're starting off with a Leaf Energy. Then we're going to go for a, a Team Yell Towel. Which is kind of strange because I've noticed in like... In Japanese sports, the, the kind of team towel is a bit more of a, a thing. Like it's in wrestling as well, like New Japan Pro Wrestling, they have it, but like it's not really a thing in, in British sports. Luxio, well apart from a beach towel, and even those, I don't think they're official. I think they're just like ones that fakes get made and like get sold on the beaches in like Mallorca and stuff. Floatzel, Kufant, Spinarak, second gen, Snom. I'm not having that. I'm not. I'm not having that. Just, just look at the face of that snob. That's all I'm going to say about that one. OP horsey. I love it. You love it. We've got a Rowlet. The reverse is a trap inch, and in the back it's a Yan Mega. It is not a pull. Let's move straight on. Second pack over here. Second pack pulls. Hashtag second pack pulls in the. Uh, in the comments for me. Let's let's get that let's let, get that one going, eh? Second pack pulls. One, two, three, four. Let's move straight on. Right, we got this kind of metallic energy, is it? Gym trainer, Rotom, Floatzel, Cacnea, Shinx, Nicket, Rowlet. Trap inch, we just had the reverse. Here is a Nicky, and in the back is a Dreadnought non holographic. We've gone two packs, we've gone no pulls. It's not a good start. 
not putting it upside down is also not a good start. Let's crack on with the third pack. Let's keep this rolling through. Now, my last video about Shining Fates was called Shining Fates is Overrated. Now, this is the pack to prove me wrong. If I'm going to be proven wrong, because I don't think I'm going to buy much more than this. If this one doesn't prove me wrong, then I think I'm tapping out when it comes to Shining Fates. Right, here we go. Leaf Energy. Elder Goss. Ball Guy. Again, not you, Ryan. It's not got the D. Tropius. Cacnea. Tutel. Spinarak. Kufant. Gossy Fleur, the reverse is a Grookey, and in the back, Professor's Research, we do not want any part of that Professor's Research, do we, like, to us, that's not an interesting card, is it, like, why would we want that, why would we want that, fourth pack from the Shining Fates V box with the Pikachu on the front, I think, I mean, I've got two boxes, I think I'm going to have to open them both, if this one doesn't come through, I'm just going to have to open them both, aren't I? The pull rates in this, genuinely, are terrible. Like, people are saying, oh, the pull rates are great, the pull rates are great. No, no, no. You might have had good luck with it. That doesn't mean the pull rates were great. It just means that you had good luck. Right, here we go. Dark energy to kick us off. And that's what this channel is for, is to see what the proper pull rates are like. Because I'm going to be buying random boxes. I'm not going to, like... Be able to get hold of everything and straight away. So this is going to be a true example. Here we go. Rusted sword. That was all over the place in that screen a second ago, wasn't it? Looks here. Oh my goodness me. I can see something peeking in the back. I can see something peeking. For Wacky, is it going to prove me wrong? Cacnea. OP Horsey. I love it. You love it. Kufants. Tutel. Yanma. The reverse is a curving, and in the back is an NDD V card. Not even a V Max, it is just a V card. I mean, it's a nice looking card, don't get me wrong. But, I mean, it's not even the best thing we got in the box. Sorry, I'm just going to lean out here for a second. This is the best thing we got in the box. The Pikachu V card, right. I'm going to see how I feel towards the end of this video. I might open... The other one let's see how it goes let's first of all let's crack into these let's crack into the mini tin boxes as you can see down here nice design they come in sets of five this is the manaphy box here is the manaphy card here which comes with it obviously it's not a tcg card here is the mewtwo chip so i'll leave that down there at the bottom as a bit of a background for this one so here we go, Manaphy tin out the way. Right, so these are the packs we've got in it. Where we go, make sure they're not upside down. There we go. So let's crack open this first one. This is the Manaphy box, remember. So cold card to one side, one, two, three, four. Here we go. Water Energy. Cramorant. Gym Trainer. Elder Ghost. Let's get rid. Let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of this. Come on. I thought it would be a good idea. It's not a good idea, is it? Let's get rid of that. Shinx. Curfing. Buizel. Trapinch. Rowlet. The reverse is a Floatzel, and in the back it says a Rude. Non-holographic. I mean, for me. Let's be completely honest about life for a second. Let's be completely honest about Pokemon for a second. Champion's Path was a way better set than this. A way better set. And I'm not just saying that because I pulled the shiny Charizard. I'm saying it because in every pack, I'm pretty sure you got a shiny in it. Whereas this, it's just weak, man. It's, it's, just, it's just not coming through for you. Code card... One, two, three, four. Let's see if this one can deliver. Come on, wish me luck. Bang at that like button down below to wish me some good luck. We're starting off with a... Oh, was something peeking there at the back? Was something peeking there at the back? I think it was. Oh, is it going to prove me wrong? Right. Metal energy, is it? Steel energy? Regular energy? I don't know. Gym train, I'm too excited about the back card. Oh, it's way peeking at me. Tropius. Floatzel. 
OP horsey, I love it, you love it. Let's just do this over here, make sure my cards don't fall on the floor. Cacnea, more peckle. It is it's just proper peaking out, isn't it, right now? Tutel, Gossy Fleur, it's a Grim Snarl V, which is a good looking card, and in the back is a Yan Miga. So look at this, look at that Grim Snarl. That's a good looking card. I'll give it that, I'll give it that. SV116 out of SV122. It's decent. I mean, it's a really good looking card, to be honest with you. Is the money in the tins? I kind of feel like the money is in the tins, isn't it? Not in the bigger items. Wait a second, what's the difference between these? Okay, so... Is this one of the more special ones? Because it says SV at the bottom. So it's like maybe Shining version, maybe? Maybe one of the more special ones. We'll find out in the price point anyway. Because this one just says 039 out of 72. If you look at the bottom there. Whereas this one at the bottom says SV116. See, I'm learning on the job as well. I'm learning as we go along. We're all learning together. I like it. Right. Let's crack the next one open. This is the Seller B tin. Hopefully it's going to come free with another big pull for me. Let's uh, display it down here. And interestingly, the chip is different. Usually in these sets, the chips are all the same. I like how the chips are different. I like how they're mixing it up a little bit for us and not just giving us the same thing over and over again. That is one positive I will say. I'm not a negative guy. I'm not here to be negative about Pokemon. I'm here to you know, be really positive about it. Because I do, you know, I, I really enjoy the hobby. It's been something that I've been doing since the 90s. Like me and my friends, we, we did it together back in the day. And we, we're collecting again as adults again. And it's, it's a part of the bond that kind of reconnects us. Because we talk way more about Pokemon at the moment than anything else. Like sometimes it's football, sometimes it's wrestling, sometimes it's about something else that's going on, but at the moment it's Pokemon that's really bringing us back together. Right, so here we go, let's crack this one open. Celebi card to one side. Here we go. Code card away, one, two, three, four. So I'm hoping this is another one that proves me wrong. Here we go. Ground energy, fighting energy. Gym Trainer, oh, do we see a Pika? I'm not too sure. Dartrix, Eldegoss, we just so many swaps, so many swaps. Kufant, Spinarak, Tutel, Cacnea, Marpeco. Oh, yes! Is this an amazing rare? I think it is. It's a Kyogre. I don't, I don't even know how to pronounce that. I've not seen one of those before. Is that the Waylord that I thought was over there before? I'm not too sure. Maybe it is. The Kyogre. That's a good looking card. And in the back, it's just a standard Dreadnought again. Let's put Dreadnought to one side. Let's have a look at this. This is number 21 out of 72. It's got the amazing rare kind of glisten to it. Okay, that's a pull. We'll count that as a pull, shall we? Because, I mean, it is one. So let's keep cracking on with the next one. My mood is kind of changing a little bit. I'll be honest with you, it's it's winning me over. One, two, three, four. I kind of feel like I should do five because it's always in that reverse spot, it looks like. Right. Electric Energy. For Wacky. Luxio. Rusted Sword. OP Eevee. I love it, you love it. Rowlet. Shinx, Trapinch, oh they're sticking, Yanma, they're definitely sticking, oh we've got another hollow, it is a Sinis T, it is another one of the SV numbers at the bottom, so we've got two pulls in that tin, so maybe the tin is the way to go, Yanmiga at the back, that is a nice pull, okay so from four packs from the tins, We've actually got three pulls, so it's starting to win me over. Yes, it is a Kyogre over here, not a Waylord. The chip... Ooh, what is that on the chip? Is that Celebi? That's not a Celebi. Yeah, it is a Celebi, of course. Right, okay. It looks like a Celebi to me anyway. If I'm wrong, correct me, please. Uh, that's what the comment section is down there for. Kyogre tin. 
I thought it was a Waylord. I was incorrect. I'm perfectly happy to admit when I'm incorrect. I called the last video Shiny Face is overrated. Will I call this one I was wrong about Shiny Face? Very possibly if this keeps on going the way the tins seem to be going. Right. Open that up. Code card, one, two, three, four. Come on, let's hit that like button down below. Let's really get it going. We have got a dark energy, and I'm seeing a Pika now. I'm seeing a Pika at the back. Bald guy, and not a Pikachu, a peaking pull. Tropius, Floatzel, Spinarak. Ooh, Kufant. Let's, let's put it back under its shell. Rowlet. Gossy Fleur. Curfing. Whoa. Ho, ho, ho. Look at that. Eternus VMAX Dreadnought. Once again in the back. But who cares about the Dreadnought when you've got this Eternus VMAX? I just want to run my finger over it. I don't want to get my fingerprints on it. But Eternus VMAX. Let's get a close look at that. You can't really see that well on the camera, but it really glistens nice. I'm gonna try and bring it up to this camera here to see if I can get a see if I can get it close to what it would look like. Not really, it's just bringing in light pollution from the back. But that is a beautiful card there. The Eternus V Max. Wow. Okay, this these tins are really pulling my through, my boy Josh. My old uh, uni mate, uni teammate for uh, for a year. He told me go with the tins. He told me go with the tins and Josh. I'm not saying I doubted you, but now I hundred percent believe you. We're getting big pulls from these tins. Come on, Josh, you hit that hit that like button. Give me some more comments, mate. Right there we go. Let's crack it with a water energy. Atropius. Floatzel, for Wacky, Yanima, Chuto, Kufants, OP Horsey, I love it, you love it, Cacnea, a Corby Knight holographic card. It is another one of the SVs, and in the back is the Yanmiga. Who cares about the Yanmiga? We've got another pull in the Corby Knight. The balance is way off with these. The balance is way off with these. The pulls from the tins seem high. I'm not just going to blanket statement it because I've got a few more. I've got two more left to do. I'm, so I'm not going to blanket statement it, but the, the pulls from the tins seem way high. As you can see, I opened seven packs from two actual collection boxes. And when I did that, is your Zerud card down here. Is it Zerud? Yeah, it is Zerud. Here's your Zerud card of a Mewtwo chip. Yeah, I opened seven packs from collection boxes, pin boxes, and we got two pulls. Whereas you can buy these tins for like 11 99 10 quid, and get two pulls out of those. So like, it's just way off, isn't it? Right, let's get the Zerud out of the way. Here's your two packs inside your Zerud. Wish me luck. Right, let's start off with getting the code card out of the way. One, two, three, four. I feel like I should do five because it's never in that last slot, is it? If we get some, it's never in that last slot, right? Dark Energy. Gym training. I think there's a lot of dark energy surrounding these boxes, to be honest. Tropius. Team Yell Towel. More Pico. Rowlet. OP Horsey. I love it. You love it. Sunom. Spinarak. Buizel is the reverse, and in the back is a Volcanion. Non holographic. Did I jinx it by saying that the pulls are better in the tins and agreeing to that? Very possibly. Let's see what this one gives me a second. One, one, two, three, four. Come on, let's get it. Water energy. I see a peaker in the back already. Water energy. Let's blast through this. Luxio. Elder Goss. Team Yell Towel. Spinarak. Kufant. 
If you're watching and you haven't already, hit the like button down below. Come on, I'm here bringing you the truth about Pokemon. Rowlet, Gossifleur, Curthing, a Toxtricity V card, which is one of the SVs again at the bottom. And in the back is a boss's orders. Who cares about boss's orders when you got this lovely shining Toxtricity V card? We are on to the final box, the final tin. Here it is here. Let's put your Reshiram card there. It is another Mewtwo chip to go alongside it. Final tin. I'm going to leave the other box. I might open it in another video. In fact, I probably will open it in another video. I might see what my mates are saying if they want it. I might give it them. Uh, but yeah, here we go. Final two. We've got the Charizard. Let's leave him till the end. Let's leave him till the end. We want to end on that one because we want... I'll be honest with you, we just want good vibes from that one last pack. We, we want it to... I won't say what we want it to do, but you, you all know what we want it to do. You all know. I'll leave it at that. Mash that like button. Come on, hit the subscribe button if you're new to this channel and you haven't already. Water energy is what we're going to crack on with. Remember to ding the notification bell. It's very important. Floatzel. Rotom. Rusted Shield. Oh, Chewtel, Cacnea, Gossifleur, Curfing, Morpico, Luxray, Reverse, and in the back is a Zarud. Is this gonna come through? Hit me a comment, say whatever you want, because I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. The more likes this video gets, the more comments this video gets, the more views, the longer people watch it for, the more people hit the subscribe button, and the more people ding the notification bell, the more YouTube goes, hey, something's going on on this channel that people enjoy. Let's, let's float it over to some other people's YouTube main page and see if other people want to watch it. Let's, let's build this together. Come on. I'm the face of it, but it's a big community, isn't it? You know, this isn't the, the huge YouTubers where we've got a huge budget and I just want your money. Oh no, I'm not setting up no shops. I'm just here for the enjoyment. Let's go. Electric Energy. Da Tricks. Last Pack. Floatzel. Luxio. Trapinch. Rowlet. Buizel. Spinarak, second genna, more peco, Bunnel B in the reverse spot, SV down below, Manaphy, I think the trick must be five with this set, Bunnel B, look at that, we have got another pull, uh, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, I have got six more tins on their way, I may go out once again and try and cop more of these tins because these tins are absolutely fantastic i'm going to quickly run you through all the pulls that we got now last time i did it, it really messed up with the green screen and i'm going to hope that it doesn't do it right now but we got the bundle b over here oh that when i shined it that blue way that's definitely going to mess with it that is definitely going to mess with it we got the toxtricity v card over here oh those blues they're going to really do me over. We've got the Corby Knight over here. I've had so many Corby Knights, especially from WH Smiths. We had the Eternatus V Max. I mean, that one is no blue. It's pure black and yellow, black and yellow with Khalifa style. Sinis T. Now, this one is going to proper do it, isn't it? The Waylord. Just, just let's float it all over the place. Let's, let's see the... The way tricky colours that my editing software comes out with there. Let's flick it over to the Grim Snarl, which is a nice one. Oh, that's a very shiny card there. Obviously, we started off with the Pikachu at the start of the box and the Indeedy as well. So that's it. We got nine pulls, but full disclosure, I'm always completely honest with you. I've got my receipt right here. So I want to tell you how much everything costs. The Pokemon V-Boxes cost £21.99. If you're only going to get one pull and then one Black Star promo card in it, it is not worth it. Avoid the V-Boxes if you can. 
Then we had the mini tins, which cost £10.99. Obviously, I bought the full five of those. They had some left over. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a few days. Because I've got six more arriving, I've got those six to open as well. I'm going to give it a few days. After a few days, if I need to go back to B&M, if I need to pick up like some protein bars or something like that, I'll go there and I'll have a look if they've got the tins. If they've got the tins, I might pick up a few more. I'm going to wait though because I don't want to rush there, get it, just take all the stock. I don't, don't want to be the, one of those guys. You'll see earlier on in this video how much stock they had there and you'll see how much stock that I bought. I bought quite a lot, I'm not going to lie, I'm not going to say that I wasn't greedy, I didn't pick up quite a lot, but I'm not the guy who goes there and takes all the stock from everyone. I'm not one of those guys who goes there and goes, oh my god, there's value in this on the secondary market, let's sell it. I understand people do that, but I want this community to all really enjoy it, and I understand how frustrating it is when scalpers are selling all the stuff that you love. Anyway, that's enough of me talking, I thought I'd give you my honesty and my openness, I've changed my mind a little bit. I don't think Shining Fates is overrated. I do think the Shining Fates boxes are overrated, but I think the tins is where it's at. With that, I am out. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you all for hitting the like button, for watching this video, for your comments, for the subscribes, for the ding of the notification bell. I really do appreciate it all, and that's why I'll be back soon with more videos. Shh, the video's not over. Right, this is a little Easter egg at the end because I want to give you like a little update of what's going on at B&M. So I wanted to do it now at the end of the video. Usually I do this stuff at the beginning, but I think I'm going to start to do it at the end of the video. That way, all the scalpers and that kind of thing who tune in just to scalp, they'll look at the beginning, they'll see the information is not there, but it's really at the end. So for the people who want this information, it's going to be at the end. So I'll, I'll, I'll just quickly give you like a little backstory. So about a week and a half ago, there was like word started to spread on some of the, the Facebook groups that loads of Pokemon has just dropped in a B&M. Now, apparently it was B&M in Berry, which is like literally right near where one of the boys lives. I won't say who it is in this video, just in case he doesn't want that information getting out there, just in case. Anyway, the word was that like this guy had gone in and he'd bought all the stock, like £700 worth of stock, every single thing they had. So everyone was going mad, like, oh my god, like, Pokemon's, like, dropping to cheap, cheap prices in B&M. Like, it was, like, one pound a blister and stuff like that. So everyone was rushing out there. I went straight to my local B&M, found nothing. We started to think over the next few days, that is was it true, was it real? Then, again, word started to spread again. It is real, but managers from B&M, who are also Pokemon fans, are starting to tell us that they'd been told to withdraw the stock for some reason. They didn't know what the reason was. Now, let's flash forward to last weekend. So at the time of recording is Friday, so let's talk about Saturday last week. My mate Alan went to the Preston B&M. In fact, he went to a few Preston B&Ms, but the, but the first one he went to, basically, he went and he found loads of stock there. He found loads of the £1 blisters, the Rebel Clash. He found some 3 99 Vivid Voltage ones as well. So... He messaged the group and he said, listen, I'm not too fussed on them. I'll get a couple for my kid. But does anyone want anything? And then the boy's like, yeah, yeah, get us, get us this, get us that. So he got a few things for them. I thought, I'll leave it. I want to wait for the hunt myself. So I, I didn't get involved. And then I got a bit of formal afterwards and wish I did. Anyway, so he kind of cleaned out the Preston one of all the stuff that all the boys wanted and, you know, send it on to them. Great stuff. You know, the boys getting what they wanted. It's going into the hands of real collectors and it's not one big scalper going in and spending 700 quid, for example, like what might have happened in Bury. So then Alan goes and checks all the other ones in Preston and he doesn't find anything. Then in the middle of the week, I basically had to go to B&M for something. I think I needed some, like, toothpaste or something. So I went. And when I went there, I saw a guy stacking shelves there. And I said, excuse me, do you have Pokemon cards? He said, I'm not from this this uh, store, but my store have a stand that we're going to be putting out, but we're not allowed to put it out until the 5th of May. Now, I thought, oh, 5th of May, that's this week. So I ended up going again today after a bit of chat in the group. Now, I saw someone on Reddit put all oh, the stock here. So I messaged the guy, I said, where is this? He said, it's North Shields. So that's, for people who don't know, that's Newcastle way. That's in the north as well where we are, but you're a far, far distance, too far to go just for Pokemon cards. 
So then we're starting to, you know, message each other. So this is where today's story comes in. And I've got a little breakdown of what we did. So my mate Stu went about nine o'clock to the Bolton store. He went there, found nothing. Nothing was there. Then my mate David went to the Trafford store. Nothing at Trafford. So around this time, I'm kind of umming and ahhing a little bit. And I'm thinking, maybe some B&M stores are putting them out first thing in the morning. But realistically, if I worked in a B&M store, I'm probably not thinking... Pokemon's the most important thing to put out there. I'll probably wait till later on. So I thought, it's about dinner time. I knew that Piggy was going to... Sorry, Piggy. That David was going to be coming to the B&M in Bolton pretty soon. So I said, listen, I'm on my dinner break. I'll go check and I'll save you a journey if they don't have anything. I went, I checked, and as you saw in the video, there was loads of stock there. I thought I'll try my hand at the £1 blisters because it said the £1 sticker on there. So I put them all through the till and they all came up 3 99 So I said, I thought to myself, do you know what? I've already opened one booster box Vivid Voltage. Go check that video out on my channel. I won't get it. I won't do it. But I messaged Piggy because I knew, or David, that, it, listen, they've got loads of Vivid Voltage because I knew he wanted them as well. So I left them all for him and I just picked up stuff that I wanted. So I picked up the Pokeballs and I picked up all the Vivid Voltage. And uh, yeah... I was so close, though, to getting them all for £1. Like, I said to the woman, like, oh, the, the sticker says £1, because it did say £1. And I thought, because at other stores I'd seen that there was, like, a £1 sticker on some, and then maybe 3 99 on another. Because there was only the £1 sticker, I thought, oh, wow, they've waited till Pokemon Day, or at least the day that they can release it, because Pokemon Day was last week. And it's £1, the price is £1. I was like, fantastic, give me, give me, give me. Because it came up three ninety nine, they, they went and checked the sticker. They were about to put it through, but then they were like, "Oh, let's check with the manager." The manager looked at it and said, "I can't do it, I can't do it." And then my mate was taking the mix, saying, "I was a bit of a Karen in insert maybe the Pokemon Karen card in here. If I can, if I can do it, maybe maybe picture by picture that way." And I said, "I wasn't going to edit this part of the video. This is like a little Easter egg for you." So anyway, that was the Bolton store. Then David went to the Bolton store, he went and got his Vivid Voltage from there, he got a couple of the Shining Fate tins. So now Rick, Rick's hungry for them, so Rick goes to Breakmit, they don't even have a stand. Rick goes to Bury, they've got nothing. Rick goes to Blackburn, they've got one tin. Alan goes back to the Preston store like he was there on the weekend, they've got absolutely nothing now, they've cleaned out of absolutely everything. Rick goes to a second store in Blackburn, they've got nothing, so listen, if you're watching this and you're anywhere near a b and I recommend you go as soon as possible because people are finding out word is spreading quick through things like this channel, for things like those other means like I said earlier. So if I was you and you want to get Pokemon stock as soon as possible, Follow stuff like this channel so you can get the information before everyone else. And uh, yeah, I'll do my best to get it to you. With that, I'm really out this time. Thank you very much for watching and sticking to the end.